A new robot era is slowly entering into our human-dominated world. And infused with AI, they may eventually become our friends, evolve into super enemies, or they just might ignore us altogether. For this video, we're going to take a look at seven humanoid robots which are a little bit different, and they might be a little bit scary for some people. But ultimately, these machines remind us that in the very near future, we might not be able to tell the difference between a human and a robot. So let us begin this really strange list. At number 7, the Kenkoro Robot. The 1.7 meter tall skeletal humanoid robot looks like a primitive version of the T-800, but it's just not quite as strong as the unstoppable Terminator. So one really cool thing about the Kangaroo robot is that it can sweat by allowing water to seep out of its frame around its motors, thus allowing the robot to naturally cool. It has this ability thanks to a laser sintered frame, which has micro channels allowing the water to evaporate instead of pulling water on the floor, so it's a first of its kind. And the robot can even do, well, let's just say half push-ups. And the Kangaroo is still far away from doing a marathon or even doing household chores. At number 6, the impressive Atlas. When the newest version of the Atlas was showcased, I was in awe from its lifelike maneuverability. It can walk over rough terrain, carry heavy loads, and really need take abuse from humans. Now it doesn't have any type of advanced AI, so it's not going to try to come and kill you or anything like that. But it does have sensors in each leg for balancing, along with navigation sensors so it can adapt to its environment. Now it does have a limited power supply, so it's safe to say that we're still far away from the independent, fully aware humanoid robots. And considering there are questions on how AI will actually perceive humans, I am just going to favor the simple robots, which are programmed to do simple jobs. At number 5, the Underwater Ocean 1. The concept for this Robo Mermaid is to go beyond the human barrier and to study coral reefs in the deep red sea. So once again, this robot is not fully autonomous, which is probably a good thing, and it's remotely controlled by a human pilot. So the Ocean 1 features stereoscopic vision that shows the pilot everything the bot is seeing. And it also has force sensors, so the pilot can feel everything the robot is touching. So it's kind of like a remote fusion between man and machine. And it's really cool because it has endless potential for underwater exploration and construction in dangerous areas. But if I ever do see one of these things in the ocean, I'm probably going to make a quick escape to the beach. At number 4, the artificial Erica. Hiroshi is one of those crazy inventors who likes to build robots, and has even made an artificial robotic clone of himself. But one of his newest creations, Erica, is designed to work as a secretary and is one of the most lifelike robots out there. She can directly talk to people and is usually nice but can be a little bit short tempered at times. So it's probably best not to make fun of her. She's also not completely mobile and is not ready to clean the house and do chores. But Hiroshi insists that there will be newer versions built which will be far more advanced and somehow that kind of scares me. At number 3, the homemade Mark 1. So if a friend went up to you and said that he was making a life-size Scarlett Johansson robot, you would probably not take him too seriously. But one designer has defied many boundaries and actually built an impressive humanoid robot in his own backyard. It can give decent facial expressions and even vocal responses under direct input. But it's basically a complex moving machine without any type of AI or interactive abilities. Regardless, the Mark 1 is a very impressive robot for being built by one person. And it just makes you think how many more humanoid robots are venturing out there. At number 2, the Dangerous Sophia. Okay, so this robot kind of looks like Ava off of Ex Machina. But trust me, this robot is nowhere near the same AI level as the one portrayed on the silver screen. Sophia has cameras built into her eyes, along with crafty algorithms to allow her to interact with her environment. She also has a great understanding of speech, and she can even remember things and people. I have to admit, it's a fairly impressive robot, even though it can't walk around just yet. And the one thing that does alarm me is that she does have some scary motives. So it's probably best just to stay out of Sophia's reach. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. So we have looked at some bizarre robots which might seem simplistic and far off from being portrayed as a real human. But there are a couple of other robots which are impressive and worth checking out. One of them is Honda's Asmo, which has been under development for three decades and it has undergone extensive upgrades. It was built to react with people, climb stairs, and it can even play sports. Now it's unlikely that you'll ever see this robot in houses in the near future, but it's made huge strides towards autonomous humanoid robot technology. Another impressive robot is the Valkyrie, and with only four prototypes in the world, it's one of the most expensive robots ever created. The prototypes are currently being worked on by several universities, and they're being continuously upgraded with new learning algorithms and computing power. 
Now one of the main goals of this project is to actually colonize Mars with these robots. So they might just be the first artificial race to leave Earth. And number one, the real doll. Founder Mac McMullen has already built some real robotic sex doll prototypes, and they can move, talk, and supposedly interact with its user. Now, they're going to be really expensive since they do take 80 hours to produce each one, but the company is expecting the product to take off. And this new type of robot has stirred up a lot of controversy, and there's even an online campaign against sex robots. And although we're not quite there yet, it just really makes you wonder if society will really benefit from a lifelike machine, which would adhere to your every need whenever you want. And to be honest, if one was lying right next to me, I would be kind of scared. And I'd always wonder if the machine would actually think the human race is useless and try to kill me in my sleep. But maybe that's not really far off from marriage anyways. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel.